Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Normal Day in Russia. I have a different kind of video in store for you guys today. I want to start off by saying that I really appreciate you subscribing to my channel and liking my videos. You've helped me reach my first milestone, which is 100 subscribers, and I'm ecstatic, really. This has been a fantastic, this has become a fantastic creative outlet for me. So I really appreciate all the support and your viewership. Now, a couple of days ago, I saw a video um, on Linus Tech Tips where Linus reviewed a very interesting gaming chair. Predator Thronus gaming chair. And uh, that system, it's really, it's not just the chair, it's the whole combined system wherein you get the computer, all the peripherals that are necessary, and the chair itself. For sort of an all-in-one solution for your gaming needs, provided you have the kind of cash that's necessary to buy that sort of system. That particular gaming chair is a pre-production model, so it's not exactly shipping to market yet. People, people haven't gotten them in their homes as of yet. There is another solution that's been on the market for quite a while, and I'm talking, of course, about the Emperor gaming chair from Canada-based MWE Labs. This particular unit I purchased about four years ago, and uh, let me tell you, it's one of my most insane purchases that's very hard to justify from any any logical point of view now even getting it to russia was a hassle all on its own because they ship it out as a complete unit so they ship it out in a huge crate which is obviously much larger than the unit that you see right now the only thing that's disassembled on it is the monitor mounts and the leg rest and uh, i had it so i had to have it shipped to the u.s um, to an address in the U.S. where I had it disassembled and then I had it shipped to Russia piece by piece. So some of it I actually shipped through UPS and the main, the core of it, I took with me on my flight as, uh, as oversized baggage. So that was exciting. So I know, I know this chair from the inside out because I completely took it apart bolt by bolt um, and, and had to put it back together when I got back to Russia. So as a sort of special treat for you guys in this, in this short video, I'd like to show you guys around this chair and, and give you guys my thoughts on having something this extreme in your home. Okay, so as far as gaming specs are concerned, this is a very slightly older rig. It has, I believe, an i7-5960X processor and a uh, NVIDIA GTX Titan X video card. So it's not one of the newest ones, obviously, in the market by far, but it does have more than enough kick for any sort of games that you would want to play on this monitor, at least, which, again, uh, although it is ultra-wide screen, um, it's not even a 4K resolution. So that's, that's something that's probably going to get upgraded in the future. So you have to uh, open up the keyboard rest manually and then you go ahead and sit inside. You place your feet on this nifty little footrest which is mechanical. Sadly it doesn't slide in and out with the push of a button but that's actually a good thing from my point of view because uh, one less thing to break. And you also close the keyboard rest or palm rest depending on, on how you use your peripherals um, again by hand. You do also have a little shelf over here which can be used as a laptop mount, a cup holder uh, which is nifty if you need your gaming fuel uh, right beside you when you're playing, as well as the controls for the chair and uh, another palm rest for your, your mouse or other gaming peripherals. And you do have a very nice sound system built in, so you have a, a Bose stereo sound system with a rather large subwoofer right under the chair. So you really get some kick out of your games, um, especially if you're playing uh, flight simulators or if you're playing World of Tanks, something that has a lot of, um, that has a lot of low frequency noises, humming and, and, and vibrations and things like that. So it really makes you feel like you're in the game. Now, once you are inside and you've gotten comfortable, you have this rather typical racing inspired gaming chair with the exception of the fact that you can actually adjust the backrest to your heart's desire. Again, also mechanical. But that's about the part where all the mechanical issues end with this chair. And once you're in position and you've found the optimal recline angle for your back, what you're going to do is start to use the actual electromechanical features of this chair. So you can lower the uh, monitor, obviously. Now out of the box, it has a uh, three monitor mounting system. So uh, you can you can mount anything up to I think 24 inch monitors on here depending on, on how the bezels how thick the bezels are on, on, on the monitors themselves. So um, initially when I first purchased it I did have three 24 inch monitors but but back then the bezels were too thick for me for my tastes and I found them to be distracting in games. So this is a curved ultra wide 34 inch monitor from LG and I'm actually thinking about upgrading it to one of the 40 plus inch models that are on the market right now and that may be an upgrade that I'll do in the future although <laughs> to be honest 
I've, I've, I've basically stopped gaming altogether, so I'm not sure if I'm ever going to get around to that. But nonetheless, this is a nifty little thing to have. All right, so once you've found your perfect position and you feel nice and comfy and your monitor has been lowered, uh, you can actually swivel the entire chair around into an anti-gravity position. So here, let me turn on the lighting and start to look for my sweet spot. Now, is this comfortable? I mean, yeah, it's comfortable for me. Will it be comfortable for you? I don't know, it's very subjective. But truth be told, especially if you grab a pillow, you can definitely find a perfect sweet spot here and game for hours on end without feeling any fatigue whatsoever, especially in your lower back. Because right now I have a very, very comfortable position with the exception of the fact that I need to uh, I need to get my neck to a, a rather low position to look at the monitor, which is why usually w when I did game in this thing, I would have the monitor up a, l a ways higher when playing. So this, this, this is very comfortable for me at this rate. And I switch, I move the keyboard out a little bit. And in this position, I feel very comfortable and I can play for quite a long time uh, without any issues whatsoever. All right, so here's an immersive experience for you guys. I decided to fire up World of Tanks, which is probably the most popular um, online game that we have in Russia, although it was designed in Belarus. Immensely popular game. And uh, what makes this chair so great for the purpose of playing a game like this is the vibration. So you have the subwoofer right, right underneath you. And if you get hit every time you fire, you can feel the vibrations. All right, so that was fun. You know, any way you look at it, this is a truly insane device. Uh, can I say that I regret purchasing it? No, probably not. Just because the experience, the, the experiences that I've gotten from it have been um, incredibly enjoyable. Fun as it is to actually use one of these gaming chairs, it is an insane machine. It's an, it's an insane piece of furniture, really. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my short descriptive review of this Emperor gaming chair. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you like the content. Um, I also really appreciate the 100 plus people that have chosen to support this channel already. That really means a lot to me. And until next time, I'll be seeing you soon on another normal day in Russia.